Okay, now we have some more problems that are about probability. That is, how likely something is to happen. But in this case, there are multiple events in each problem, and there's a special way to deal with that. Let's look at this first problem. It says a coin is tossed and a die is rolled. What is the probability that the coin shows heads and that the die shows a five? So these are two different events, and we, the first step is to figure out what's the probability of each event individually. If we were just going to flip this coin, there are two possible things that could happen, heads or tails. The probability that it's going to come up heads would be one possibility, so it's a one out of two. And then with the die, rolling any particular number on a six-sided die, you should remember, is a one in six chance. There are six sides, the five is only on one of them. So that's a one in six chance. When we combine these two events together, if we ask what's the probability of both those things happening, we have to multiply. So we're going to multiply one half and one sixth. And when you multiply fractions, you're multiplying the numbers across the top. So one times one is one. And the numbers across the bottom, two times six is 12. So there is a one in 12 chance that when you flip a coin and roll a die, it'll come up heads and the number five. So that's kind of the key thing to remember when you have multiple events, you need to figure out the probability of each event and then multiply them together. Multiply for multiple events. All right, let's look at another one here. It says a bag contains three green marbles and six yellow marbles. Let's see, here's our bag. And we've got three green marbles and six yellow. One marble is drawn at random and not replaced. So you're taking something out and chucking it away. Um, the second marble is drawn and they want us to find the probability that you draw a yellow marble and then a green marble. And there's one added little trick to this one. We've got two events. We've got pulling a marble out the first time and asking what's the probability that it's yellow. And we've got pulling out a marble the second time. So those are our two events. Let's try the first one. We've got a total of six and three, that's nine marbles. Six of them are yellow. So when you first grab a marble out of this bag, it's a six out of nine chance that it would be a yellow marble. There are six yellow marbles out of nine total. When you pull the second marble out, you've got to stop and think because you've just pulled out a marble. So I'm going to erase one of these yellow ones. You've just pulled out a, a, a marble. So you only have eight left. So for our second probability, uh, the probability of the second event, which is you know, the probability that would be a green marble, you've got three green marbles left out of a total of eight, not nine. Then, to see what the probability of both these events happening, one after another, you multiply them together. Multiply across the top, six times three is 18. Nine times eight is uh, 72. And then you'd want to reduce this. Let's see, I think you can take a, a 9 out of both of them. So that would be 2 ace, and that would be 1 fourth. So there's actually a 1 in 4 chance that you would pull a yellow marble and then a green marble. Now, we've got a couple of problems here that have to do with cards. And these can be really tricky problems. It says two cards are drawn without replacement from a shuffled deck of 52 cards. What is the probability that they're both spades? So you've got a deck of cards, and you need to know a couple of facts. First of all, how many cards are in a deck of cards? Well, that's 52, at least when you start. So let's take this one at a time. You're pulling two cards, and you're asking, what's the probability that the first one is a spade? And then what's the probability that the second one is a spade? A deck of cards is divided into four suits evenly. So there are, if you divide 52 by 4, you would get 13. There are 13 spades, 13 hearts, 13 diamonds, 13 clubs. So when you first pull a card out of here, the chances that it's a spade would be 13, because there are 13 spades in there, out of the 52. The second time you pull a card out of here, bo both these numbers will have changed. If you drew a spade the first time, there are only 12 spades left in that deck. And since you drew a card, there are only 51 cards 
left in that deck. So it's 12 out of 51, the probability of drawing that second spade. And now we need to multiply these together, and I think I need my calculator for this. Let's see, 12 times 13, that's 156. 52 times 51, that's 2,652. Well, I can at least divide both of those by 2. That would be 78 over 1326. I can divide that by 2, get 663 on the bottom, and 39. Those look like they're divisible by 3, so if I take a 3 out of both, I would get 13 and 221. And 13 is a prime number, but we can take a 13 out of 221, so that actually comes down all the way to 1 17th. So the chances of, of pulling two cards in a row out of a full deck of cards and having both be spades would be a 1 in 17 chance. One more like this. This last question says two cards are drawn without replacement from a shuffled deck of 52. What is the probability that they are a pair? And this one's a little bit tricky because the first card you draw, there is something left in the deck that's going to be a pair with it. So that first draw, even though you're drawing two cards, that first draw, we don't really have to calculate a probability from it. It's, it's actually got a probability of one um, uh, because any card you draw is going to be okay. So let's not think about the first draw. Let's think about the second draw. On the second draw, you have, you no longer have 52 cards left, you have 51 cards. And if, let's say, you drew a two the first time, how many twos would be left in that deck? Well, there are four of each number. So it would be three twos left. And if you'd drawn a king, there'd be three kings left. So for any of these, the answer is going to be three out of 51 that you would have um, drawn a pair. I think 51 is divisible by three. Yeah, so take a three out of both. We got a one in 17 chance, which is kind of interesting because it was a one in 17 chance of drawing two spades in a row, and it's a one in 17 chance of drawing a pair. Those are some problems about multiple events in probability.